Hello again, angels. This is Teacher Anna, and welcome to another matinee episode. Today, we will talk about measures of possession for group data. Are you ready? Well, at the end of this lesson, you are expected to illustrate the following measures of possession, quartiles, deciles, and percentiles, calculate the specified measures of possession, Example, 19th percentile of a set of data. Interprets measures of position. And lastly, solves problems involving measures of position. What is group data? Group data are data formed by aggregating individual observations of a variable into groups, so that a frequency distribution of this group serves as a convenient means of summarizing or analyzing the data. Group data is like you are counting how many times does a certain number appears. Most of the time, it is represented by a table. Like this one. We have the class interval scores. They are grouped into 41 to 50, 31 to 40, 21 to 30, 11 to 20, and 1 to 10. On the second column, we have the frequency. Frequency talks about how many times that those numbers appeared. 41 to 50 appeared 5 times, 31 to 40, 4 times, 21 to 30, 6, 11 to 20, 10, and 1 to 10 is 5. Measures of position for group data, like the end group data, involves the quartile, decile, and percentile. We begin with the quartile for group data. Again, when we say quartile, the data are divided into four equal parts. But since we talk about group data, our formula will be different. For this, we have Q sub K is equal to LB plus the quantity K and over 4 minus CF sub B all over F sub QK multiplied to I. We're in. LB is equal to the lower boundary of the QK class and is the total frequency while CF sub B is the cumulative frequency of the class before the QK class and F sub QK is equal to the frequency of the QK class and I is the size of class interval and K is the nth quartile wherein it can be 1, 2, and 3. As for the QK class, in order for us to get it, we use the formula KN over 4. Next is the decile for group data. Again, when we say decile, we have 9 score points which divide a distribution into 10 equal parts. And our formula will be similar to the quartile for group data. The only difference is that instead of 4, we use 10 in the formula. We have D sub K is equal to LB plus the quantity KN over 10 minus CF sub B all over F sub DK multiplied to I, wherein LB is the lower boundary of the DK class and is the total frequency, while CF sub B is the cumulative frequency of the class before the DK class and F sub DK is equal to the frequency of the DK class, while I is the size of class interval, and K is the nth decile, wherein it can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Lastly, we have the percentile for group data. Again, when we say percentiles, these are the 99 score points which divide a distribution into 100 equal parts. Just like the quartile and decil, we have the same formula. But instead of 4 or 10, we use 100. So we have P sub K is equal to LB plus the quantity KN over 100 minus CF sub B all over F sub PK multiplied to I. Wherein, LB is the lower boundary of the PK class and is the total frequency, while CF sub B is the cumulative frequency of the class before the PK class, and F sub PK is equal to the frequency of the PK class, and I is the size of the class interval, 
while k is the nth percentile wherein it can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. until we reach 99. Again, these are the formula that we will be using in the measures of position for group data. Now that we are familiar with the different formula that we can use for the measures of possession, it's time for us to have an example. Example number one. Calculate the quartile one, decile seven, and percentile 65 of the mathematics test scores of 50 students. The table shown represents the frequency distribution of the test scores. We have 46 to 50, 41 to 45, 36 to 40, 31 to 35, 26 to 30, and 21 to 25. 46 to 50 appeared 4 times, 41 to 45, 8 times, 36 to 40, 11 times, and 31 to 35, 9, 26 to 30, 12, and 21 to 25, 6 times. Since we need many information in the given formula, let's focus first on identifying them. Like what is N, what is LB, and what is cumulative frequency. N is the total number of frequency. Getting the total, we have 50. And as for the lower boundaries, we subtract 0.5 on the smaller number in the class interval scores. 46 minus 0.5 is 35.5. 41 minus 0.5, we have 40.5. 36 minus 0.5, we have 35.5. And 31 minus 0.5, we have 30.5. 26 minus 0.5, we have 25.5. And 21 minus 0.5, we have 20.5. And as for the less than cumulative frequency, it is obtained by adding successively the frequencies of all the previous classes, including the class against which it is written. The cumulate is started from the lowest to the highest size. So we begin with 21 to 25. The frequency is 6, so we copy 6 in the less than cumulative frequency. Then we will add 12 to 6, we have 18. Then 18 plus 9, we have 27. 27 plus 11 is equal to 38, and 38 plus 8 is equal to 46. And 46 plus 4, we have 50. Now that we identified the lower boundaries and the less than cumulative frequency, it is time for us to solve for quartile 1, decile 7, and percentile 65. We begin with the quartile 1. In order for us to identify which of the lower boundaries and the less than cumulative frequency are we going to use, we will identify the quartile 1 class first, and we use the formula Kn over 4. For Q1 class, we may use n over 4 since the value of k is equal to 1. So we have n which is equal to 50, and we got before 50 over 4 is equal to 12.5. We need to find the class interval where the 12.5 score is contained. Using the less than cumulative frequency, note that 7 to 18 scores belong to the class interval 26 to 30. So, the 12.5 score is also within the class interval. The Q1 class is class interval 26 to 30. After knowing where is the Q1 class, we can now identify the given. All B is equal to 25.5, while N is equal to 50. And C, F, sub B, or the cumulative frequency before 18 is 6. And we have the frequency which is equal to 12. And the class size is 5. From 26 to 30, we will count 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and they are 5. And then, after knowing the given, we will substitute it in the given formula. Q sub K is equal to LB plus the quantity KN over 4 minus CF sub B all over F sub QK multiplied to I. The value of LB is 25.5. And the value of Kn over 4 is 12.5 minus 6 
all over 12, which is the frequency of the Q1 plus, and the I is equal to 5. 12.5 minus 6 all over 12 times 5 is equal to 2.71. So we have 25.5 plus 2.71, which is equal to 28.21. Therefore, 25% of the students have a score less than or equal to 28.21. Next is the decile 7. But first, we need to identify where is decile 7 plus. Using the formula k n over 10. k is equal to 7 and n is equal to 15. 7 multiplied to 50 is equal to 350. 350 divided to 10, we have 35. And that means we need to find the class interval where the 35th score is contained in the less than cumulative frequency. In the cumulative frequency, 35 belongs to 38. As 38 means the 28 to 38 score. Note that 28 to 38 scores belong to the class interval 36 to 40. So, the 35th score is also within the class interval. The decile 7 is the class interval 36 to 40. So, after knowing where is the class interval of 35, we can now check the given. The lower boundary is equal to 35.5 and the value of n is 50. And the cumulative frequency before 38 is equal to 27. And the value of the frequency is 11. And the value of i is 5 from 36 to 40. We will count 36, 37, 38, 39, 40 and then we have 5. Then afterwards, we will substitute the following in the given formula, d sub k is equal to lb plus the quantity kn over 10 minus cf sub b all over f sub bk multiplied to i. lb is equal to 35.5 and kn over 10 is similar to the d7 class that we saw earlier. So we have 35 minus 27 all over 11 multiplied to i which is equal to 5. 35 minus 27 all over 11 multiplied to 5 is equal to 3.64. So we have 35.5 plus 3.64 which is equal to 39.14. Therefore, 70% of the students get a score less than or equal to 39.14. Lastly, we have the percentile 65. For percentile 65, we need to identify first where percentile 65 plus belongs using the formula k and over 100. k is equal to 65 and the value of n is 50. 65 multiplied to 50 is equal to 3250. And 3,250 divided to 100 is equal to 32.5. Then, we need to find the class interval where the 32.5 score is contained in the less than cumulative frequency. 32.5 belongs to the less than cumulative frequency 38, as 38 means 28 to 38 score. Note that the 28 to 38 scores belong to the class interval 36 to 40. So the 32.5 score is also within the class interval. The P65 class is class interval 36 to 40. After knowing which class interval does the percentile 65 belongs, we can now check the given. LB is equal to 35.5 while N is equal to 50. And the cumulative frequency before 38 is 27, so we have 27, and for the frequency we have 11, and i is equal to 5 from 36 to 40, we will count 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, so we have 5. 
Then afterwards, we will substitute the following given in the formula. Using the formula P sub K is equal to LB plus the quantity KN over 100 minus CF sub B all over F sub B K times I. LB is equal to 35.5 and KN over 100 is similar to P65 plus which is equal to 32.5 and cumulative frequency is equal to 27 and F is 11 multiplied to 5. 32.5 minus 27 all over 11 multiplied to 5 is equal to 2.5. So we have 35.5 plus 2.5 which is equal to 38. Therefore, 65% of the students get a score less than or equal to 38. And that's it. Just remember, when we identify the measures of position for group data, we identify first the class. After computing, we will check it in the less than cumulative frequency column to know where it is contained. Then we may easily get the necessary data needed for the formula in computing the measures of position. Dear Akit Angels, you did great in watching and listening. I hope you are now confident to answer activities related to it. Again, this is Teacher Anna and see you on another matinee episode.